Hey guys, I'm sorry, but it's going to be another montage for updates. I just put stuff down before. Oh, I've just been so busy. We've been out doing a lot of street surgeries and doing a lot of meetings and not getting finished till like 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. I'm exhausted from it, so I haven't had time to edit a lot of videos. So what I'm going to do is, today I'm doing another montage. I'm sorry. Let's get into it. Morning, guys. It's still morning. No, technically it's afternoon, 20 to 5 to 1. Oh, I spent the morning here at the town hall. I'm on my own because everyone else is either working from home or they're out uh, doing whatever they do in their local communities, uh, picking up litter, doing a street canvas, talking to people, having a meeting, whatever. <sighs> I'm exhausted. After yesterday's long uh, travel, just to go and do a, a short appointment with a doctor. Oh my goodness. Takes it out of me. I'm not one for travelling like that, not during hot days where basically you're stuck in a metal box sweating a lot. But what can you do? Sometimes you just have to do it. Anyway, I'm here doing a bit of casework. I've been there writing some letters for people, making some phone calls on behalf of people, setting up some meetings, things like that. Just really busy work. But now I get to go out and today I've got a petition. So I'm going to take my petition and uh, go around some... Uh, houses and uh, knock on doors and talk to people about the petition. Bit of a change but kind of similar to the street surgery only instead of asking about issues I'm presenting them with an issue and the solution to that issue and saying will you support it. Okay let's go and do that. Hi I'm Councillor Kirk Robinson I'm here on Bolton Road by the Zebra Crossing that we're trying to get changed into a push button crossing to make it safer. At the moment drivers tend not to stop when they're trying to cross on it or they just don't see it because it's on a corner as you can see, it is on a corner there. So we've got a petition going to try and get the highways department to turn it into a push-button crossing. That will make it an awful lot safer. We've had a lot of people sign up already. There's a real strength of feeling on this one. So hopefully we'll get some good movement on that and be able to make this area safer. That's what we're trying to do. I love that you can still see the old sign, White Horse Hotel, Woodside Ales. The old prints really don't go away, do they? My goodness, it's brilliant. Oh my goodness, it's pouring down out there. Can you hear that? My goodness, I'm glad this uh, roof thing's closed because, wow! Oh my goodness. It makes me so happy that I'm inside, wrapped up warm and able to just have an evening off where I'm watching TV. My goodness, well, say watching TV, actually I'm watching The Avengers on Blu-ray. I'm going to get back to it. My goodness, this is awful weather. <laughs> oh, guys! You might be able to hear drilling downstairs because Jen is still working on her DIY, on her projects. I am taking the day to stay in the office and get some editing done because I don't know what's going on, but I think I may have overdone it because I can hardly walk. My right leg is seized and just sitting here is hurting. Never mind trying to stand up and put weight on this leg. I don't know what I've done. They are drilling because she's doing DIY. I don't know what I've done, but I'm hoping that if I have a day off where I just where I just sit around and don't do too much and just get a lot of stuff written and edited on here and hopefully I'll be all right for tomorrow when I can get back out and do work. But it is Sunday so I suppose I can have one day off. I don't like having a day off. I don't. I, I like to be at work. Let's get on with it. So what have you done? Well, I uh, basically reinforced the corner cabinet. It used to have model railway stuff in but given that I'm now taking over the loft I thought it was a good idea to uh, turn it back over to books. So uh, to do that, because the books are so much heavier than the model railway stuff, I've reinforced at the bottom at the bottom with a couple of brackets. You've reinforced your bottom with a couple of brackets. I can't even see them then. Ah, I should not have bent down. Oh. So there we go. And uh, I filled them with some of the books from the reserve collection and also some of the double stacked stuff. So it's now full of um, sort of ooh, books. Excellent. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, I'm even uh, probably in focus now. Uh, it's been an interesting morning. I've just spent the morning. I haven't been able to film because I was at the Citizens Advice Bureau doing some job shadowing. See how they do their stuff and uh, the kind of things that are going on in town that cause people to need to go for advice. I'm going to send them a thank you card because they do some brilliant work. That's, I can't give you specifics, but let's leave it at that. They need a thank you card. Now, I've just also been to the... Uh, Fair trade coffee morning. I managed to catch the end of that. 
and good display of uh, all the stuff that uh, is available from the Justicia in uh, Bolton for the fair trade shop and good cakes as well, far too, far too, uh, far too nice to be uh, healthy for you, let's put it that way. But anyway, got to get on now so let's get straight into today's work. Which mostly consists of doing a load of responses to emails, following up on some casework. It's always following up on casework. So, better get on with it. So this might seem like a bit of a daft thing, but uh, this sulfur keeps getting pressed right against that radiator, which is not a good thing. It doesn't let the heat flow around the room and it also warps the back of the sulfur, which is going to damage it. So I've effected a bit of a repair. It's very makeshift, but I've got a plastic uh, Slimfast bottle from my lunch, which I've washed out, don't worry and an empty uh, cleaning uh, stripe thing. You know, the stuff for cleaning monitors. I've got one of them and I'm using them to prop up between the sofa and the radiator. So that should allow the sofa to be sat on without getting pushed right back against that radiator, which means we get better airflow. And it also means that all these ridges that are across the top of the sofa won't get any worse and the sofa won't get further damaged. So hopefully that's a win-win. This might seem like an odd use of my time, but to be honest with you, it's been annoying me for a while. I wanted to get it done because it keeps creaking. And of course, it's meaning that we get better use of the energy for the radiators and things when they're on. So, win-win, I think. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, back to work. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> it's uh, getting fairly light now, actually, and uh, I can feel it's spotting on to rain. So I'm going to end what I was going to be doing today been out sort of talking to people on the doorsteps and things, which is great news, so uh, going very well, but uh, like I say, it's getting dark and spotting onto rain. Probably time we stopped. And that really is all I've got for you. It's just been so busy, but hopefully we can get back to proper daily vlogs. I really do want that, because that was the uh, stated intent when we started up Series 2, wasn't it? Okay guys, let's just get on. See you tomorrow.